Good morning, good morning, again de numaga, konnichiwa, bonjour. Hopefully I can make a really quick video before I head off to work today. Uh, I'd like to talk about the 144,000 lie, um, misconception, deception, how most people are in the darkness. Um, there are some people who believe the 144,000 are referring to the babies that King Herod um, slain in the Bible. Um, there is also a misconception and a lie that <clears throat> the 144,000 are only men. Um, there are people in the New Age movement who think the 144,000 are light workers, star seeds, indigo children, uh, <clears throat> um, that they're, um, did I say light workers already? <laughs> Any events, there are many different versions of lies, basically, is all lies. Uh, I was made aware very early on, even before I became born again in Christ, um, I was seeking out the, the truth about what is this 144,000 and what is it referring to and what is it all about and why am I so curious and so interested in this? Um, and I knew no one had to tell me, not a single person in the flesh had to tell me I knew I was one of the 144,000 even before I even knew what in the world it meant. I knew nothing about it. I didn't think that I was special. I didn't think that it was and like anything to brag about. Um, I just thought, oh, well, you know, that's interesting, I guess. <laughs> Whatever it means. I'm like, why, why am I saying to myself, I'm one of the 144,000? any event um, long story short um, back in December of 2018 I became born again in Christ and I still didn't really have an understanding of what the scripture of the 144,000 meant um, I didn't know right off the bat I didn't get, I, I dislike when people say they've gotten a download in their spirit or, or a word from the Lord. When I, when I sought out truth, the Lord's timing is perfect. I don't know how, or I actually don't know when in my testimony, when I figured out um, what it meant. I read it one day and I just understood when it said these are those that made themselves ready, this means became born again in Christ. The, those that have his Holy Spirit, that's how you make yourself ready in a spiritual warfare. You either have his Holy Spirit or you don't. It really is that black and white. And it said these are those that didn't defile themselves with women. I knew women didn't mean literal women. Um, I knew that it meant whatever's opposing to Christ. Um, the, the Holy Spirit is masculine. Any false lying spirit is the feminine. I knew that women was also referred to as the worlds, the harlot, the whore. That's the, referred to as Babylon, the world. I knew women um, meant false doctrine. It's very deep. It's, it's much more than just, you know, someone says that the scriptures are so easy that a five-year-old can understand. Yes, if that five-year-old has his Holy Spirit, of course. Those of us who are given his Holy Spirit, we are in truth. We know the truth about what his word says. We know... 
um, to test all spirits. It, it Again, it's much deeper than most people. Most people are just like, it's as simple as you know, turning up. It's as simple as confessing your sins. And the thing is, if that was the truth, if it was so simple as to just admitting your guilt, verbally saying I'm guilty and I'm a sinner, if it was that simple, then more people would be saved. But what people don't understand is you're either called by Christ or you're not. And what I mean by that is Christ is the one that enters into your heart and gets you to truly accept the truth, gets you to know what you're guilty of, know um, the mistakes and the life that you lived, your testimony was for a reason that it's not about me just confessing with my mouth um, that Jesus Christ is Lord is the Holy Spirit you have to be led this is what it means to acknowledge Christ in all things either the Lord enters your heart and gives you truth and helps and gives you eyes to see and ears to hear or he doesn't Many are called, few are chosen. So each and every one of us had an hour of testing. Uh, your whole testimony, your whole testimony, every, every choice you made, every fork in the road that you, you were presented with, you had a choice. You made a choice on whether or not to follow Christ and follow truth or believe the lies and, and make those lies in your mind the truth. And I'm not saying that I've walked perfectly. No one has. And for most of my life, for 42 years, most of the time, I made the wrong choices. And the Lord allowed that to happen. Again, the Lord is the one who places it in someone's heart to do something or not do something to choose him or to not choose him. That's what people don't understand is yes, I have free will, but how strong is Christ in me to influence me to be humble versus to be prideful and full of myself or to delude myself to say that I'm a good person. I know I'm not a good person. I'm like everyone else. The only good in me is of the Father. That's what that scripture means. And again, that's acknowledging Christ in all things. So I can't take credit when the Lord has influenced me to humble myself. I can't take credit when the Lord has influenced me to help somebody else. I can't take credit for any of it. But again, I was called out. The Lord plucked me out of the world. I didn't choose. I mean, yes, my free will at the end of the day, I could have been like, I still want to be of the world. You know, I still don't think it's a big deal to, you know, lie to somebody if you don't want to hurt their feelings, whatever. It's that's another spirit. What the Lord blessed me with is knowledge and wisdom and understanding to know this is a spiritual warfare. I'm either choosing Christ or I'm choosing to follow other false lying spirits. And the 144,000 cannot be deceived, the elect, the chosen ones, however you want to put it. They're also called the Philadelphia Church. How many people who have claimed to be part of the Philadelphia Church hasn't mentioned one thing about the 144,000. It's probably because they're not part of the Philadelphia church. It's something that the Lord, there's no, it's no mystery. The scriptures are not, I know, you know, this scripture is also referring to this scripture and it all is perfect if you understand it through his Holy Spirit. But I mean, if you, 
if you are trying to understand it in a in your own carnal fleshly manner without his holy spirit you're going to be lost like the rest of the world you're going to be indoctrinated again either the lord has chosen you predestined this is all scriptural and jeremiah you were predestined the lord knew you before you were even in your mother's womb so i mean the lord knows the beginning and the end so he knows how many are going to be truly saved and how many are part of the other churches that they don't want to admit that they're part of or they're part of the world that they don't want to admit that they are a part of it if you are a liar you're part of the world if you are following man someone else in the flesh a ministry a group a church a community whomever your family members if you're following man you're not one of the 144,000. You're not part of the Philadelphia church. Okay? So I hope I clarified and I hope it doesn't sound like I'm being um, not very kind, but it's, I'm just being direct that many people have many conceptions and are misguided and they're in the dark and if you are lying if you're a liar and you're still indoctrinated from the world and being manipulated by the woman false lying spirits repent repent turn turn away from that you know um again either the lord is calling out to you in your heart and and your heart let your eye be single meaning that I'm looking to truth only. I'm looking to the Holy Spirit only to guide me. I'm not looking in any other place for my oil. Oil is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. I don't get my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from the world, from man, from someone else, because I don't want to be accursed. People have no fear, no healthy fear whatsoever. They are accursed because they take notes and I read from other books and I'm studying and I'm studying to show myself approved. But it's like you're not studying the spiritual warfare. You're in a situation where you can choose to follow Christ or not. And most people are not. They're following the woman, the harlot, the whore, false lying spirits. I love you and God bless.